good day my friends I wanted to share with you my recent Lowe's seed haul I just have an obsession with seeds I if you know me I've purchased many seeds over the years um, and I love you know putting only a few um, seedlings into the into the pots or into the ground and trying to see what comes up and I love it so so much I mean literally my husband laughs at me because I play with the seeds and I ogle them and I stare at them and I have to touch them and I have to look at what I bought and um, I, I count how many flower seeds I get versus how many seeds that um, have edible like vegetables and herbs and I just love it so much so I'd like to share with you my haul from Lowe's um, recently so I bought some sage it's organic it's 279 fairy morse and um, I, I love the scent of sage and I love how it feels and I love the silvery green color that it gives um, it it's great for you know poultry and other seasoning for other uh, other things and of course it's not the, quite the season to grow it it's February through May but I know that these seeds will last because I've had seeds that I've um, grown plants in my garden and two years later I've taken uh, I've I harvest the seeds at the end of the season and two years later I plant the seeds into the ground or into a pot and they come up and I know that I can take care of the seeds you know pretty well and even if I don't get like a hundred percent of the seeds coming up I get quite a few I'd say um, at the very least 60 and at the most 80 percent come back up and it's been two years so I'm growing melons in the backyard that are doing that. They're growing some, I'm growing Japanese melons. And then the other one, I'm not sure if it's hammy melons or golden melons from Costco, but I got the seeds. And you know, it doesn't hurt to collect the seeds, especially um, what's really great about squashes and melons is that inside they have so many seeds and you know, you can be self-sufficient and have grow a lot of food just from buying one squash or one melon. You can grow so many plants from it. Anyway, let's continue. Um, I got marjoram, sweet marjoram. It looks good and I know it smells good. It's great for um, seasoning plant, um, seasoning food, sorry about that, 178 and I guess it's a container variety and I was trying not to get container varieties but I think they're telling you to get it um, in a container because it may like spread or spill over, you know, so for your convenience and again this isn't the season so but I want to have it just on hand and for 279 I have oregano um let's see it's organic and same thing but you know what it's it's july and in socal you can still grow this you know start it in the shade or in a pot and then move it over to the the sun over time and then dill i love dill so much this is a container variety um, it's 178 which is really inexpensive because a packet of seeds has like many many seeds in there and so in fact even if you spent this amount of money on seeds you could even split the seeds amongst two or three people so that everyone gets a little bit of everything and um, you don't you're not um, absorbing all the costs if you can share it and here is some Genovese basil container variety and this smells so so good and it's delicious in pastas and lasagna and all kinds of stuff basil is my favorite herb it's one dollar and 78 cents very morse and those smell so good and if you see I love herbs so here's cinnamon basil container variety non-gmo 
178 which is quite affordable and you can grow more like many plants from that and basil dark opal purple look at how luscious that looks that looks so pretty and amongst like bright green um, herbs and, and silvery herbs this, this purple is going to stand out and I love the smell of and the taste of, of basil it's just so fantastic it cheers me up 178 non-gmo um, this is still um, you can still grow it at this part of the year and here are some chives I got two of them I just love chives and uh, they come back year after year I grew I grew some in a pot and they even in the winter they look like they may be dying off but they come right back in the spring um, non-gmo USDA organic chives 279 each um, and I do like growing it in a pot because I won't mix it up and think like it's grass or weeds or something and pull it out. So I really love that a lot. And that's good year round, having chives around all the time. Okay, so here is some Royal Burgundy Bush Beans, non-GMO 178 and it's a container variety which is unusual I you hardly ever see that there are bush variety for beans um, to that go in a pot so I didn't think of that all I thought was purple number one it's got antioxidants or some other beneficial you know and I have heard like when you cook it the purple goes away but that's fine but as far as picking wise it's easy to see it's easy to spot the purple against the green uh, foliage and so you can pluck them more easily and of course I must must have Orient Wonder beans and if you pluck them while they're because they get really long but if you pluck them while they're semi young um, it's probably the best time because these produce a lot of beans I've, I'm growing it this year and if you if you, don't wait till they get like too tough and leathery on the outside and too big just get them when they're like medium medium sized and you'll have you'll have always good vegetables to eat and it is $1.99 and I hope to, to always have, um, you know, this type of bean for forever. I'll always grow it because I like growing it up. Um, it, go, it grows up. It's not a bush bean. It's kind of like vining. So I like to grow it up the trellis. Next, I have a container variety of radish French breakfast. And that looks so good. And... Um, I want to eat it raw and I want to uh, pickle some and they grow fast I mean only 23 days to harvest and it's only 178 and I know they're about like oh a little longer than your finger but um, quite thick and so that looks like a really good um, vegetable to have and also these radish watermelon watermelon radish non-gmo 178 look at how pretty that is white or green on the outside and and pink on the uh, inside hence the name watermelon radish and i didn't know that it was a container variety but that's cool i can grow them together and let's see Okay, so I got brandy wine in my last um, seed haul. I kind of forgot that I had already purchased brandy wine. And, um, but it, you know what? It, I love it. I love how it's, it looks like almost like an heirloom tomato. And I love how big it is because I like those for like um, burgers or my husband likes to do Chicago dogs so you know you cut up vegetables and onions and tomatoes and you put it into on, on the dog 
and so this is 178 this is 199 and it's worth it to grow your own tomatoes guys i don't love to grow tomatoes because um one it was like um it's kind of a nightshade thing and i i, I don't know um but the other thing is that the tomato hornworms they really give me the heebie-jeebies but i'm willing to overcome tomato hornworms because um, I sent my son to get some seeds and I mean I'm sorry seeds not seeds I went I sent him to the grocery store to get one tomato and one tomato was over a dollar and I couldn't believe it because I grew up with you know tomatoes costing like I don't know 49 59 69 cents a pound or something like that I don't know I can't remember but it was never a dollar for just one tomato or over a dollar even it's getting really ridiculous you know the prices um I know I know there's such a thing as inflation I know there's such a thing as you know different times of times have changed but that seems excessive to me you know um organic tomato Roma tomatoes 279 I got two packets um, now uh, I'm gonna keep one and give one to somebody um, because I, I realized since I bought so many tomato seeds and each plant gives you so many tomatoes I don't need two packs and and um, that's what I had always started to think that if I'm gonna buy seeds while I'm there I'm gonna get another pack because I always have someone to give it to as a gift and then I love heirloom tomatoes so I had to get this mix and look at how beautiful they are and how variable and it's open pollinated and not natural I just I just love it and the supposedly the flavor is like way better than other tomatoes just you know store-bought tomatoes 249 and it's quite a number of seeds 50 seeds so i can totally share that with like my sister and my mom and everyone um next i have so i recently decided i really want to have an obsession with peppers like i really should grow them because i do eat a lot like i can't eat food without my sriracha or tabasco sauce i need <laughs> spice in my life and if i don't have it i i i just don't it doesn't sit well with me i need it so i started buying some peppers um so i have here let's see i'm sorry i'm trying to get it to look lined up and everything Okay, so I have all organic fairy morse, 279 for each of them. This is hot um, cayenne long slim peppers and hot habanero. I know they're quite hot. Um, and serrano chili peppers. So um, this is like, I think medium, and it doesn't say hot. So it's like probably like a medium spice. And I know I've had serranos before. So um, I plan on using it like when I make pickles, I can throw in a couple to spice up the pickles. I can dry them and powder them up. Um, um, like in this case, you know, you've had cayenne pepper that's powder. Um, or make hot sauces with them or use them in salsa so that's what I plan to do next I have some sweet peppers and because you don't always want only spicy sometimes you can't handle it if I'm stressed out sometimes my stomach gets real sensitive um, like recently I thought I was gonna have an ulcer because I was so I was so stressed out but it was just from stress um, so I have organic um, sweet peppers from Fairy Morse and I'm not advertising for them I just really like that they're organic seeds um, 279 each and I got two of these sweet banana peppers and um, I saw that someone had grown it and their um, their plant was chock full of these peppers like the whole thing was like a little bit of foliage 50 50 foliage and sweet peppers so I was like I gotta get myself some of these and and 
it's so prolific provides a lot of food and you can add it to your pickles or, or your pickle jar and have a like a variety of things in there so imagine if you had like pickles that had radish sweet peppers um the hot peppers and some dill i mean that would be fantastic and i really like to um pickle green onions like kind of stick it in there because it gives it the allium kind of flavor um and garlic even oh gosh and then here are some sweet peppers chinese giant and it looks humongous and you can stir fry with it or something like that or even these so so i yeah suddenly developed a uh, fondness for growing peppers i have some good peppers in the back so um i have some orange munching peppers right now and i have a anaheim chili pepper plant and i had a bell pepper plant that produced one bell pepper this year it's kind of looking i don't know it doesn't look too healthy but um it, it be, it's because it's overwintered and um maybe it struggled from the winter but it looks like it's coming back so 178 okra clemson spineless and I, I i don't know if it's because like i wanted to buy different varieties but you know like you have to get them while they're young because otherwise they become real tough and um you could pickle them you could stir fry them um they have like that certain people can't eat it because they don't like the the slimy-ish innards but actually it's it's good for your digestive tract and i like to stir fry it now um i've grown okra before and i love it it grows you know on this like three foot tall stalk and it, it gives you like you you would pick it the way you pick chili peppers and I just, I don't know which variety is best, but I know that when they say Clemson Spineless, it's not as tough as other varieties when it gets a little bit larger. Because if you miss a day of harvesting, it can get quite tough. And you can eat it raw, so it's a really good um, vegetable to have. And then it's so easy to collect the seeds from. When it, at the end of the season, or you missed one and it got real tough, just let it st sit in the on the plant, let it dry out, and then you just open up the pot and get the seeds out. Um, they'll they'll like when you shake it, it'll make a make a sound because the seeds are like shaking around in the husk. So then, of course, of course, every time I get herbs and vegetables, I have to get some beautiful flowers. For one ninety nine, um, I got these Cosmos, and the reason why is because I have the purple Cosmo. And um, and then I recently saw one that was um, a purple with white, like it's white with like purple edging. And that one is so gorgeous. I'm in love with that one. If I could find more of those seeds, I will get them. So this one is Cosmos Crest Mixed Colors. So I like that. It looks really, really pretty, right? Like this one here with the edging that's orange and the, the center's more yellow and then red cosmos i didn't know they came in so many colors so i just wanted it <laughs> and i purchased this before english daisy double mixed colors and it's perennial 178 and i just i love this I love that it's white. I, I love that this one has the pink and the white edge. I love that this one is is like um, so you can't really see it very well, but it's like white with like purple edges, like that one. It's really really pretty, and I love that it's perennial. It's only one seventy eight. Love it, love it. And here is fairy morse. It's an annual, so you'd have to seed it and grow it every year. 178 only, Heli Chrysum, tall double. So not only is it tall, and it almost looks like a straw flower, but I just love the vibrant colors. And if you make like a floral arrangement or whatever, you can give it to friends and family, and 
It looks so, so pretty. I really love it so much. And I've been collecting various zinnia seeds because I love zinnias a lot. They grow well in the spring, they grow well in the summer, in the late summer into fall, and they're so pretty and they draw in pollinators. They're stunning. And when you cut them and you put them in like a vase, they last quite a while as a display and you can make floral arrangements and whatnot. It's non-GMO, it's only 178. Um, this is a giant double violet queen. So it's really pretty with the center being this lighter beige or yellow color and then the outside being pink. I really love it. I've been trying to, so this year I only got some mostly orange um, zinnias that came up uh, from seeds from before from uh, plants I had grown the year before. And then I had maybe three pink plants, like bright pink zinnias, and then a couple white um, zinnias that popped up. So I plan on growing much more next year, I promise. Like, I love them so much, I'm obsessed with them. And here are some giant double flowered lavender so I haven't seen one that just said lavender. I've seen um, the other one where it's greenish with a, like a purplish color outside. 178. Um, and then this one, which it looks uh, like a dark red, but I don't know because scarlet, to me scarlet can be like a, a darker red, but I'm hoping that it's like a bright pop popping red like I, sh I should have probably looked for like a cherry colored but anyway um it'll it'll look nice because I don't want just like um pinks <laughs> pink flowers all over or purple flowers all over I want different colors so 199 giant double which I love when they are like huge blooms because I love to stare at them the bigger the better and they um, draw in pollinators and um, they're long lasting, $1.99. So that's it. If you notice, anytime I have seed hauls or any type of thing, I have to have food items, herbs, and then I have to have some flowers. And it's quite affordable. Like for $2, you may think that this may not be worth it, but actually I could, like I said, split this amongst three people and then because I have these other varieties you know then everyone gets you know some of each that's wonderful I really love that anyway I hope you have a great day and um, please like subscribe and share my videos with friends who are interested in gardening and permaculture and all of the above um, to support my channel and so that I can grow and um, share more tips, um, all kinds of stuff with you. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Thank you for watching.